If you're as old as me, you remember when Hooked on Phonics was something your parents had to order over the phone. You might even remember the commercials on TV. And I have to admit, I was surprised when I found out the company was still around. But you no longer need to make a phone call. And while you'll still get something in the mail, it's mostly all done online now. But will your child really learn to read in 30 days? Let's review the Hooked on Phonics reading program and decide if this is a good program to help kids learn to read or if it should have just stayed back in the 90s with flannel shirts and baggy jeans. So what is Hooked on Phonics all about? Well, it's a learn to read app designed to teach reading to kids from ages three to eight. And if you sign up, you'll get access to two additional programs, Hooked on Spelling and Hooked on Math. Hooked on Phonics does not offer a free trial, but they do have an offer where you can get your first month for just $1, and that includes your first practice pack, which will come in the mail. I've got a link for you in the video description if you need it. And you can even get that dollar back if you end up not liking it in the first month with their 30-day money-back guarantee. Here is the practice pack that they sent me for the first month. I got this workbook, I got these two cute little books here, and I even got this set of flashcards. There are also some stickers, but they've since gone missing. If you do decide to keep the program after that first 30 days is up, it will cost $15.95 a month for up to three children. Once you sign up, you will need to download the app. You can download an app from the Microsoft Store or the App Store to use on a desktop computer. Or you can download the app on any iOS, Android, or Amazon device. You'll also need to download the separate Hooked on Spelling and Hooked on Math apps if you plan to use those. We'll take a look at all three apps, but let's start with Hooked on Phonics. When you signed up, they should have asked your child's name and reading level. So there should already be one child on the account when you download the app. I'll show you how to add additional children when we take a look at the parent settings a little later in the video. But if you open up the app, your child can just get started right away without any additional setup needed. If you click this blue button here, you can change between the different modes. Pre-reader is where your child will start if they're still learning about letters and the sounds they make. They recommend this level for kids ages three and four. There are 12 steps in this mode, and once they complete those, they'll move on to the learn to read mode. Learn to read is the level for kids who already know the basics. The steps are divided up by age and grade level. So steps one through six are for kindergarten or ages four and five. Steps seven to 12 are for kindergarten through first grade or ages five and six. Steps 13 to 18 are for first grade or ages six and seven. And steps 19 to 30 are for second grade or kids ages seven to eight. There's also Hooked on Spelling here, which seems to be included in the Hooked on Phonics app without me having to download anything separately. I'm using this on a Windows desktop, so this might not be the case with all devices. Finally, there is Hooked on Math over here, which it does tell me I'll need to download a separate app for. So when your child is ready to start practicing, they can just click the play button here or choose one of these options below. I'll show you some examples for both levels, but let's start with the pre-reader level. Up top here are the steps to the pre-reader level. You can move forward or back in the steps by clicking up here. If you want to do a lesson over, click on the letter below the lesson. Let's take a look at one of the lessons now. The letter S. Help the pals decorate their doors. Drag the object into the door that makes the beginning sound of the word mutt. S -m. Mutt. You got it. Sun. S -m. Sun. You got it. Sock. S -m. Sock. You got it. Wow, all sorted. 
Good job. The letter S. So that's what the lessons in this level are like. Your child can also choose from one of these options here. The first is library. This will bring them to an area where they can choose a book from each step in the program. These books also appear at the end of each step. There's also a section here for games, music, and rewards. Now let's look at the learn to read mode. The setup is exactly the same, but the lessons are going to be different. Instead of just focusing on individual letters and their sounds, this part of the program will move on to working on actual words. Let's take a quick look. Words that end in A, N. Drag the egg into the nest to make a word. N. Pen. J. N. Jan. R. N. Ran. Z. N. Van. B. N. Ban. Great job! That meerkat is always yoking around. Underneath here, they have the same options to choose from. Library, games room, music room, and rewards. Next is Hooked on Spelling. Hooked on Spelling introduces your child to common spelling patterns through fun activities and games, giving them a chance to practice their newly learned spelling skills. The program is very similar, although there is just one option. Click play to get started. Listen up. Now you're going to hear more words. Listen carefully to the beginning sound in each word. Then choose the box where the word belongs. If you want to hear the word again, choose say it. Ready? Mop. Bat. Said. Bin. Man. Last, before we get to the settings and additional features, let's look at Hooked on Math. This is a math program for kids ages 3 to 9 that is included in your subscription. For this one, I had to download a separate app, but everything looks pretty much the same. You can choose between numbers and counting, math fundamentals, elementary math, and core math here. Let's take a look at a lesson. 4, 5, and six. Four coconuts. Five coconuts. Six coconuts. Four legs. Five legs. Six legs. Four flowers. Five flowers. Six flowers. Four shells. Five shells. Six shells. Wow. Listen to the number and look carefully at the nets. Select the one that shows the correct number of fish and select done. Which net shows six fish? Excellent work! You found it! Which net shows five fish? Excellent work! You found it! Which net shows four fish?
Excellent work. You found it. You star fish. Numbers. Down here is the free play area with a couple of games to play and a clubhouse to decorate. So hopefully now you have an idea of how the Hooked on Phonics program looks from the child's perspective. But we do have a few more things to go over. First, let me show you how you can change the settings and add additional children to your account. In either app, click up here and enter your birth date to get to the parent settings. You can actually just enter any date that makes you old enough and it works. Under account, you can manage your subscription and change your password. If you want to manage your subscription, it's going to bring you to their actual website to log in, not the app. I had some trouble with this login at first. I had to click the new user forgot password button and wait for the email to reset my password. But eventually I got it to work. And I just want to note, you'll only have access to this if you sign up on their website first and not through the app. I have the link for you in the video description to where you can sign up for the 30 days for $1 and get those additional print materials in the mail. I honestly don't know how it works if you download the app first. So from this account dashboard, you can track the shipment of your print materials, view any additional purchases you've made, update your account info, change your payment info or cancel your subscription, and view special offers. I'll show you more about the additional offerings in just a minute. Back in the app, Learner Profiles is where you can add up to two additional children to the account. You can also edit your child's info here. In the Phonics app, you can change the game room visibility, check off pre-reader or learn to read, and unlock all activities. You can also view your child's progress through the program. Okay, so now that you know what the Hooked on Phonics program looks like, Let's just go over a few more important details. First, I just want to let you know that if you prefer to get the Hooked on Phonics program in print form instead of or in addition to the app, they do still offer that. You can find it on their website under Shop All Products. This is not the same as the app I've just shown you. These Learn to Read kits include either DVDs or online access to video lessons which you get on this website. This is not the same as the Hooked on Phonics app that's included with these other bundles. See how these look totally different than the app? So if you're looking for this option, be sure to pick one that includes the Learn to Read product. And you can actually watch these videos here for free without even signing up. Just click down here on free learning materials from their website. You can also order additional practice packs, math practice bundles, and book bundles. Okay, so now that we've seen the program, we still need to talk about how this is going to help your kids learn to read. So here are some things you need to know. First, the lessons each take about 20 minutes. They start with a video or song to introduce the concept. Then they use games and activities so your child can practice what they learned. Your child will also get some writing practice in the practice pack that's included with your subscription. They'll also put together what they've learned by reading online books and the books that are included with the practice pack. Of course, at the pre-reader level, you're going to need to read those books to them. Finally, they'll celebrate success with in-app rewards, stickers, and a certificate. But how does this help your kids learn to read? What will they actually learn? Well, here is what Hooked on Phonics has to say. In the pre-reader section, your child will learn all of the names, and sounds for each of the letters of the alphabet. They'll also get practice writing these letters. So by the time your child finishes the pre-reader program, they should know all of the letters and the sounds that they make and be ready to move on to the Learn to Read program. In the Learn to Read program, children will progress to putting letters together and learning the sounds of word families. And they'll also be introduced to sight words that don't follow the normal phonics rules. Once they master the short vowel sound word families, they'll move on to more advanced phonics skills. So that's everything I wanted to show you today about the Hooked on Phonics program. So now let me tell you my thoughts on it. I'll start by telling you what I like about it. First, I like that it's simple for your child to follow. Unlike some other popular learning apps that can get super complicated with all the activities, 
With Hooked on Phonics, the lessons are very straightforward and easy to follow. Just click the play button and get started. I also like that they include the practice packs. So your child can practice writing and reading in real life, not just on a screen. And I like that it teaches using phonics. I think the emphasis on sight words and a lot of early reading programs can actually make it harder for kids to learn to read. My nine-year-old learned to read with phonics, and I think it's really important that kids learn the sounds of letters and letter groups before trying to read individual words. Now for what I don't like about the program. Well, for one, I think it's really confusing that they have two separate programs. And I'm honestly not sure if you get more with the old-fashioned Learn to Read program than you do with the app. I just don't know if the app is all you need, if you know what I mean. When my nine-year-old was learning to read, we did a whole bunch of different things, including print materials, apps, and games. So I don't think you can just sit your kids in front of this program and call it a day. But I think it's definitely a great supplement to whatever offline curriculum you may be using. I also don't like that there aren't really any analytics to track your child's progress the way some other apps have. You can see which step they're on, but that's about it. So I wish there was a little bit more data that they could share with you. If you have any questions about the Hooked on Phonics program, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to answer. And if there are any programs that you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching.